Now we're going to take a look at how to create one of the most popular effects in digital photography, and that's the duo tone. Now, there's a really complicated way that you can convert to duotone. You have to go up and change your photo to grayscale, and then you'll have to go into duotone mode and do a whole bunch of other really complicated stuff. But wouldn't it be easier if we could just fake it here inside of Photoshop? I think so. So that's exactly what we're going to do in this next lesson here. We're going to take a look at how to turn this photograph here into what I like to call a faux duotone. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to pick a color here that we're going to use for our duotone. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select probably this nice purple color here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come down to the adjustment layer icon. I'm going to choose black and white. Now you can use just a regular hue and saturation adjustment layer to desaturate this, but I'm going to go ahead and use black and white here just to be a little bit more complex and to give myself a little bit more control. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, I'm going to pick one of these filters, one that I feel fits this image the best. And once I find one that I like, I'm going to go through here and then I'll use that kind of as a jumping off point for this photograph here. Now, I don't really see any of these filters that are going to look particularly well on this particular photograph. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back up here and select none from the presets and then I'll just manually create my own. So I'm going to darken in the background just a little bit by dragging this slider to the left and that's going to darken up the background elements. I'm also going to take back the center of this image just a little bit, not too much. Just drag that back to darken that in just a little bit. And so now I've got these settings pretty much like I need them to be. So I'm going to go ahead then and click OK. Now we're going to come down here and we're going to select the adjustment layer icon again, this time choosing solid color. Now inside the solid color dialog box it should automatically default to that color that we chose earlier. So I can go ahead then and click OK. Now when I do this, I'm going to come back over here to the layers panel, I'm going to select the blend modes and I'm going to change this layers blend mode to color. And once I do that, I've created a nice soft duotone on this image. And the great part about this is, this is totally customizable in the fact that since we use the black and white adjustment layer, now we can go in and we can adjust the tonality of this image based on this new duotone that we've created here. So if I want to darken in these areas here, I can just take this and darken them up like so. If I want to lighten up the background, because maybe it's a little bit too dark for me this time, I can do it just by dragging those sliders left and right like so. And also, if you wanted to go ahead and mix in another color, you could do so simply by hitting the tint slider and that would go ahead and allow you to mix in another color as well. So this just gives you a great amount of control and a nice easy way to create duotones here inside of Photoshop rather than going through all the complexities of converting to grayscale and then using the duotone mode. So now I'm going to go ahead and click OK and the last thing I'm going to show you is how you have this great ability to control the overall color of the duotone as well. So if at any time you felt like this purple color wasn't exactly fitting what you wanted to have here on this photograph, you could double click the solid color adjustment layer there. Then you could come over here and pick a new color. Let's say you maybe wanted an orange color. Go ahead and click OK. And there you have your instant new color duotone right there on your image.